Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. I'm still in London and I'm having some fruit cravings. Today I'm going to be going to East of London because I fancied eating Afghani food. First before I go let me show you this. This is uh, sort of behind my uh, house. Uh, this is Millbank Primary School. This is where I went to and um, it's, it, it, when you're just walking past it it just brings a lot of memory. So my last episode when I went to the Lahore kebab house in uh, east of London just off commercial road before I went there I went to this Afghani restaurant however they were closing up so they said I can just have a takeaway I didn't want to just have a takeaway I wanted to have the meal and the full experience I went there a year ago food was amazing and it's really authentic and I realized Harry Jaggard um, he's a youtuber he's actually filmed in there so the food is good and the locals really love it and it's always busy they told me to go in the daytime because it's less busy. So it's about 2.30 p.m. By the time I get there, it's probably be about 3.30. So we're gonna go and try out some amazing food. And I'm heading to Pimlico station near my house. And then we're gonna take the Victoria line. And then I think it's the central line to Bethnal Green. So yeah, let's go. Pimlico tube station. Bethnal Green Road. So this is where the Cray brothers and all these gangsters originated from the East End. Some things never change. I remember growing up, coming here, doing some shopping and you get your sort of Asian products and you use the market stores and everything. Fresh fish. This looks pretty cool. Fresh vegetables, coconuts, two for one pound fifty. Mangoes, papayas, fantastic. Even more vegetables. This is what the East End is famous for in the Asian community. Shopping, market stalls, beautiful. Right in front of me, that's the Hat Bazaar and the Afghan Grill. So we found our destination. And this is the Afghan Grill. So this is the Afghan Grill in Bethnal Green. I've heard really good things about here. And um, as you know, I wanted to eat here. So now I'm here, I'm gonna try this amazing food. The food is authentic. And I don't know if I've mentioned uh, 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 from my YouTube community, Harry Jaggard, he's come here and had the Kabuli Pilau. He really enjoyed it. I think he rated it 9.5 out of 10. So I'm sure the food's gonna be good. Let's go in and see how the food really is and the authenticity and hopefully we can meet one of the owners. There you go. Afghan Grill Authentic Afghani Restaurant. So you got your usual, the tikkas, chicken wings, chicken sheiks, lamb, some koftas, salads. And you've got a charcoal grill just cooking all your lovely ingredients. Look at that. Looks wonderful, proper fresh. And it's charcoal grilled right in front of you. Right, so I'm in the restaurant and I'm eating. Is are you one of the owners, yeah? Yes. What's your name? Suleiman. Suleiman. So this is Suleiman. I came here one year ago and I had the amazing food. And I said, when I'm back in London, I'm going to try this amazing restaurant and I'm going to show it to you guys. Now, how long have you had this uh, business for? Uh, alhamdulillah, it's almost a year. Almost two years. It's almost a year. I came here last year. And wallahi, alhamdulillah, food was very good. So I thought I'm going to take some time out and just show you this amazing uh, food. It's very authentic, right? Yes, it's so, authentic. Uh, yeah, Afghani food. Afghani food. Uh, is it your family yeah. who run the business? Yeah, it's Alhamdulillah family business. Yeah. Family business. Yeah. So this is a family joint and really authentic food. I mean, this here is one of those. Is that gas fired, right? Yeah, this is gas fired. Yeah. And all of them this for Kabuli Palau. Yep. We cook uh, daily, Alhamdulillah, three times. Sometimes it's busy time, four or five times as well. 
So the kabuli pilau is cooked in these big cast iron woks and they make it about two, three times a day depending how busy it is. So you get the fresh kabuli pilau and I've been recommended this kabuli pilau to try. I'm also going to have a karai today. So this is Suleiman, the family business. They've, got, they've run it for about two years. So I'm quite happy that I'm going to try this amazing and it's really busy. I mean, if you just see, this is like a daytime shift and it gets really busy here. And there's quite a few tables, but in the evening I'm told it's extremely busy. So if you want to come and have a nice little meal in the the daytime is better, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The best time is uh, before two o'clock, three o'clock, because after four to five, yeah, after five o'clock to ten o'clock, believe me, Very some busy. people they waited outside as well. Yeah. One hour, one and a half hour, they waiting for table. Yeah. Wow. Alhamdulillah. Well, uh, so, what's your speciality here? Then? Okay, our main speciality is the kabuli pala, and we got speciality ka chopan kebab, and our plata is very nice. Yeah. We got a special karai, chabli right. kebab, mantu. You're gonna show me some food today before Inshallah, I eat? why not? Why yeah. not? Why not? So, I'm actually gonna sit here, observe the business, and just show a few of these dishes because authenticity, especially in London, is very important. You got lots of restaurants, but it's not authentic. This is Afghan family running an Afghan restaurant, right? So you're gonna get proper authentic food in the heart of the East End. And I went to Lahore Kebab House, and the food was amazing. Uh, that was Pakistani food. This time it's the Afghan food and I love Afghan food. When I went to Tooting, I uh, showed a video of the Namak Mandi. He's also from, I think, Kandahar, the owner. The food was amazing, so it's the Afghan influence and I'm really craving that proper, authentic Afghan food. And I'm gonna show you this amazing experience at the Afghan Grill in the Bethnal Green. Thank you, Jazakallah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Suleiman took some time out to speak to me. I let him carry on with his business. Jazakallah. Thank, Thank you. So just order some Salam Cola. And this is the menu, lamb samosas, about $5.99. You can even get hummus for about $4.99. Some side dishes, the rice about $4.99, that must be a small portion, and $7.99 for a large portion. You can even get chips, salad, and a large Afghan naan, I'm assuming. Chapan kebab, something that I fancy, I think. Grilled meats, charcoal served with a naan, wow. Shami kebab, lamb chops, grilled chicken, half, and a full. Loads of choices this is. There you go, Afghan Charsi Karai. So they must do the lamb and they do the chicken. One kg of meat, about 30.99. One and a half kg, 40.99. So it's like a family meal that you can have. The full chicken, 29.99. Look at that. Afghan special dal. Right, this is the flip side of Kabuli Pilau, $16.99. They do that mantu, chapli kebab, kids' meal, desserts, drinks, and hot drinks. They do special mixed platters as well. About 35 quid, about fees, serves one to two. I'm sure that's going to be enough for two people. A family mixed grill, and a four to six people for about 60 quid. That's pretty cool, that is. That's the menu. So, the Afghan grill. Now, it's quite cosy in here. There's about one, two, three, four, about five or six tables. So twos and fours, and then you've got these little booth areas where you can fit about six, you know, four to six easily. So if you've got a family coming in here, they've got little d dividers that you can just have a little cosy little family meal. Now, the prices are quite reasonable. It's not on the cheap side, however, it's not very expensive, but you're getting proper wholesome, quality food, authentic food in London. Now, I'm waiting for the Kabuli Pilau. I can't wait. The owner was uh, quite friendly and he actually uh, got, on to, got on the camera and he spoke about the food. So it's family business. So you know you're gonna get good service and you're gonna get proper quality food. It's not just a chain where you stick in a manager and you know, the service isn't always great. However, I can see he's concerned about his customers and he's on a high alert all the time and he wants me to have a good experience so i'm going to start off with some cola the salam cola bismillah so, so chef's letting me so Suleiman, you're going to show me this recipe yeah so look guys this is what i'm talking about they cook everything to order right fresh from the beginning. Like spicy, medium spicy? Uh, medium spicy, please, Akhi. So there you go. Is that cooked in ghee? Or? 
oil. This is oil, and yep. before we don't cook in this. Okay. So guys, they must have pressure cooked the lamb. So you're going to get that fresh taste and fresh flavor. Hit it into the oil. Added some ginger and garlic. Ginger and garlic and green chili. The difference with this karai is there aren't a lot of spices, yeah? yeah. But it's extremely flavor flavorful. So what is that if you just added? This is our uh, special masala we make at home. Yeah. So guys, he's just, he's just added a secret uh, sort of spices. So you're gonna, this is going to be extremely flavorful. Fresh tomato. Fresh tomato. The customer like more gravy, yeah. put more tomato. More tomato, I like gravy. <laughs> I love that tomato gravy. When I make my karais, I love that gravy. We mop it up with a naan bread. This is amazing. This is cooked right in front of you guys. If you ever come to London, make sure you come to the east of London. If you want authenticity, this is authenticity done correctly. Now he's going to steam cook the lamb, let it soften up even more. Okay. Uh, now we, let, uh, we leave them for 10 minutes. Yep. Uh, the meat go to soft. Okay. So guys, he's just, what is it? He's just put the lid on and let yeah. it just cook for a good 10 minutes just to soften everything up and create an amazing gravy. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. Is this, is this the lamb for the chapon kebab, yeah? yeah? This is our main kebab. Lamb, lamb. and what's this one, this Suleiman? One is, uh, lamb kofta. Lamb kofta. We lamb shami as well. We got chicken kofta. Chicken kofta. We got chicken wings. Chicken wings. And chicken tikka. Chicken and chicken tikka. tikka. And yes. you cook it on a proper charcoal grill, yes. yeah? And for my brother, I got one chopon kebab now. Look at that, guys! Proper charcoal grill, and this is the lamb chop on kebab. Fantastic. So, guys, proper Afghan naan. Normally, it comes proper large, and I love that flavour of it. So fresh naan in the tandoor oven. Is that poppy seed or sesame seed? Sesame and black sesame, white sesame. Sesame, black and white. Yes. Feels a lovely little crunch and textures. Can't get better than this. Proper fresh naans with those sesame seeds. Look at that, Puff, puffing up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Another guy is my brother. Is your brother? Yes, this is probably Kabul Dalal Chef. Salaamu Alaikum, brother. You the chef, yeah? Yes. You're very I'm the shy. Chef, yes. Yeah. Yes. Alhamdulillah. You know, one of the famous YouTubers, he rated your Kabuli Pilau very good, 9.5 out of 10. So how often do you make the Kabuli Pilau? Every day? Every day, twice, sometimes three times as well when it's busy. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, it's going well. It's going people, well. Yes, people and you cook it from yes. nice and fresh, nothing. Fresh things. So you cook fresh, the meat. Yes. How long does it take to make the Kabuli Pilau? So basically every cook, it takes me two hours because yeah. it's slow cook. Slow cook. Yes, so you, I, put, I cook uh, rice together with meat. And uh, yeah, it takes time, but something can be Something that you do. Yes. So do you make two of them at the same time? Or? So yeah, this is two and uh, wherever I have like a 15, 20 portion, I yeah. start to cook another ah, one. Ah, guys, he's got two of these massive. Can I just see, just yes. see this? Look how this big this is. This is empty. This is massive. Yeah, empty. This is the karai. This okay. is like this is like about one meter, yes. yeah? <laughs> yeah? Massive. Yeah. Total is two meter. Yeah. And every pot I got one meter, yes. Guys, this is about every and karai. This is, is about special kabuli pilau. This now, yeah. this is the kabuli pilau which I showed you earlier. Yes. So when it, when it gets down to about 15, 20 portions, he starts cooking another one. Yes, yes. So nice and fresh, look at that. Every rice is individual. Do you use celabas, my friend? To be honest, this rice is a special rice. So you cannot find it in the UK. This is gay, we get supply from Germany. Okay. And, uh, yeah, this is a special rice. You know what I love about, obviously it's your, it's your cuisine. Yeah. I love the rice. <laughs> it's that pasta. It's very long, very uh, big. This is, this is, yes, basmati. Basmati. It's basmati is long rice. It's long rice. rice. And uh, I mean, it's hard to buy yeah. here in the UK. You can't find it. Guys, he gets this imported all the way from Germany. Look at that. Look at that lamb shank falling off the bone. Look at that garlic. This is going to be very flavorful, and I can't wait. Let me show Suleiman just making the karai. Look at that. We're just waiting for the tomato to melt and become an amazing gravy. Very exciting stuff. I don't know, I just get really happy when I see food and especially fresh to order. Beautiful. Sumak. Yeah, 
So coriander, lemon, what's this brother? This is some sort of chicken masala. Chicken masala, yes. sumac, and chili. chili. Beautiful, look at that guys. Wonderful. So Suleiman is going to show a chicken karahi. Bismillah. Ginger garlic, yeah? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Gravy. Wow, that's massive, man. This is one portion. I bet you two people, three people can eat that. Amazing. Jazakallah uh, khairan. One second, I make it a salad for you. What, is, what is this? This is green chili. Green chili, okay. Chutney, we call it. Green, main, uh, and this one? This is red sweet chili. Sweet chili. And this one is garlic sauce. Garlic sauce. Beautiful. Thank you. Now, this is special for my brother. Okay. This is my food getting ready, guys. I can't wait. So pomegranate molasses sauce as well, that Turkish influence, beautiful, thank you. Wow. Now this is the real deal, oh my god. I'm twin pan into this. This is what I'm talking about. This is sizzling away. Mouth is watering. Proper salivating. Look at that. This is authentic food. Proper cooked in front of you. Proper home style. You actually think, you know what? These guys are from Afghanistan and the food, the love and attention that they've given to this, I've seen. I mean, one of the brothers, he cooks this himself. And the salad is proper nice and fresh and crunchy. The karai cooked in front of you this amazing kebab this is what i'm talking about this is you you think when you come to east london and you just walk through the doors you'll think you're in kabul or something amazing food amazing hospitality and i can't wait to taste this lovely food oh, oh wow so this is like a lentil like a chana dal guys this comes with the kabuli pilau so much food here and now i'm gonna have to give this a try Right guys, so I'm going to have to try the kebab to start off with. Come close to this pan to this man. So you got that amazing lamb and like he said it's a chicken spice as well as a sumac and some home spices as well. Oh wow, yeah, subhanallah, he's given another naan. I don't know how we're going to eat all this food, we might have to take it home for the family. So there you go, look at this guys, amazing. So chili sauce, there you go, sweet chili sauce, and the garlic sauce. Fantastic. Now as always, bismillah. Mm, subhanallah. You've got that amazing char on the, on the lamb. So you've got that smoky charcoal flavor. It's not bland at all because it's got that amazing sumac little hint of spices just sprinkled on top this is absolutely gorgeous now if you like lamb tikka lamb chops the chapon kebab it's an afghani favorite and they recommended it to me and i'm so pleased that they have this is amazing it's got that juicy fatty sort of lamb oh wow there's amazing lamb juices this is not overcooked there you go, the fat is glistening away. Beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable. Amazing flavours, amazing taste. 
Now the naan. Thing I, thing I like about Afghani naans, if you have Bangladeshi naan, it's quite sweet. And the Pakistani naan is that sort of that salty flavor. The Afghan is sort of not sweet, not salty, but it has an amazing flavor. Something a little bit different. Everyone does their little regional differences. And this is... There you go. It's sort of that plain flavor, which actually uh, sort of magnifies the flavor of the curries. So this... So the naan with the lamb while hot, top notch flavour, top notch sauce, very very Moorish, very flavourful and the gravy is still very hot, the karai is extremely hot, so I'm going to have this a bit later but that tomato gravy. Just mop it up with your naan. Beautiful. Onto this kabuli pilau. Now good old Harry, he's rated this 9.5 out of 10. So you know it's good because he's had proper Afghan food in Afghanistan. I want to show you this, I've washed my hands. Look at that amazing lamb shank. Wow. This, look at that, look at that, beautiful. This is so soft, tender, it's like butter that melts in your mouth. Amazing. I'm gonna try the rice first. Steaming away, proper nice and hot. Wow, you can just have a plate of this rice on its own. Amazing. I'm going to try a bit of that lamb. Oh wow. It's not full of spices. You can actually taste the, the gaminess from the lamb. You can, that lamb sort of smells and flavour. That's what you get here. I think when you over spice it, you don't get the taste of the lamb. However, the way they do it, you actually can taste the flavours of the lamb. This is beautiful. Comes with a nice little salad, crispy, crunchy tomatoes, onions, whoops, onions, cucumber. I'm going to tuck in and enjoy this. This is amazing food in the east of London. Let me enjoy. Look how good this looks. Amazing. That sort of ghee and that fat is just dripping. I can taste the garlic. All that flavour. When it's sort of fried meat, this is delicious. I like a bit of fat on the lamb. Look at that. That's got that fat and the juices.
I'm going to put on the stone by the time I leave here. This is delicious. It's nice and spicy because it's got the green chilies in there as well. He asked me how hot do I want it. I said I want it to be medium, but it's definitely got a good, lovely spice to it. Look at that. Amazing. Fantastic flavours. I'm enjoying this. There's a lot of food. Everything is flavourful. This here is probably the best Kabuli Pilau I've had in London. I've had a few and this, I really enjoying it and I'm hungry. It's about 4.30 at the moment. So this is proper. I've avoided lunch because I wanted to come here. It's giving me so much food. The kebabs, really good. It has so much flavor. The rice, I could just munch on the rice on its own. The lamb, as I showed you before, it's just sort of melts in your mouth like butter. You've got this sort of, uh, the lentils with the chana dal. You're meant to have it with the kabuli pilau. Absolutely on point, beautiful. And this is the king of karais. So simple, so flavorful. And you've got lamb on the bone, so you've got the actual flavors coming out to the gravy. And all you've got to do, mop it up with a naan bread. And if you're Bengali, we like it with a bit of rice. Now I've got that, all those flavors just coming in your mouth. It's, it's, it's like you're in South Asia. Fantastic place. And I'm gonna tuck in and enjoy the meal as I am now. So they just cleared the tables and I had a fantastic meal. Yo, I forgot about the tea, subhanAllah. You have, have a green tea. So just to finish off with, Jazakallah, thank you so much. Uh, that is a gur, yep. you calling gur, something like sugar. Sugar, yeah, sugar. Yeah. molasses, yeah? Yes. Exactly. That's the molasses. Wow, so this, this, this is the proper green tea, by the way, from Afghanistan. And it's served with like a molasses, sweet sort of uh, dates. It's made with the dates, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Tamar. Exactly. Ka yeah? Sure. Kazur, kazur. Sugar, yeah. sugar, sugar cane, yeah? yeah especially from uh, Jalalabad. Jalalabad, Afghanistan. So this is like a sugar molasses sort of chunks, especially from Jalalabad in Afghanistan. So thank you so much. What a very good surprise. We've had a fantastic meal. Look, they gave us so much food. We, get, we were taking a takeaway home with us. We couldn't finish the food. Now, to be honest with you, um, if I have to talk about the food, I'm going to have to say that was one of the best Kabuli Pilaus I've had all over London. And this is one of the best. And if they're selling it for 16 pounds. Wow, Oreo biscuits. <laughs> they're selling it for about 16.99. And I tell you what, that is worth every single penny. If you want to get that authenticity of that flavors of Afghanistan. Now these brothers are actually from Afghanistan and one of the brothers, he actually makes the Kabuli Pilau himself. So they got staff and they got very good uh, friendly staff, very hospitable. I've even enjoyed every minute of it. But the most important thing, the brothers are doing the cooking. So this is what it is when you go out for a meal. Myself, I can get disappointed when I'm uh, going outside for a meal. However, if I know the owners and the families, they're, they're working, you know the food's going to be really good. So all I can say, Harry Jaggard, he gave this place 9.5. Do you know what? I'm very pleased with that. I don't rate restaurants on a scale to 1 to 10. However, this place, I rate it quite highly. And if you're my subscribers and if you're living in London, or if you're not, if you're visiting London, please come here. This is Bethnal Green and the tube stations just literally two minutes walk two to three minutes walk and come to this afghan grill you're going to enjoy it you're not going to be disappointed if you, if you like what i do please consider hitting the like button share my content and if you haven't already why haven't you subscribed to the channel to get the best recipes and now i'm going out and meeting these amazing chefs and amazing businesses and i'm going to be showcasing you this on my channel so you know where to go and eat i'm going to enjoy this cup of tea by the way that's sweet enough actually this is the molasses can you put it in your mouth you sip the tea One, two, three. Afghan, Afghan Grill. Grill. Best restaurant in London at the moment.
so happy that you're here. I need the bill. And today you're especially our No, guest. no, 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 Habibi, right, Habibi. Ha thank you very much. Today, please. No, no, Next time I try it, No, 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 the food here, I mean, it, it should be 80 to 100 pounds. Very good quality food. They didn't skimp in any of the quality. And he's the Afghani hospitality. He didn't even want me to pay. And I tried my utmost, but I'm going to leave a tip for the guys. Service fantastic, excellent restaurant. And I, to be honest with you, so far in this series, this is the best at the moment. Jazakallah khairan. Thank you so much, man. Habibi, you know, you don't have to, man. Wallahi, for good food, I travel. Jazakallah khairan. May Allah give you barakah, inshallah. Habibi, Jazakallah Khairan. Habibi, no problem. Habibi, Jazakallah Khairan. Thank you so much, man. Right, this is quite overwhelming. I've come here and I thought I'm going to have to, you know, cough up on a bit of money. But this place, they didn't accept my money. I had to fight with them. But I gave them a little tip for the lads. I mean, I personally really enjoyed the food. Good, wholesome, hearty food. And the guys here are just fantastic. And they, uh, they you know, they welcomed me. They, let, they, they, show, you know, they showed their recipes to me. I really enjoyed it. And if you're in London, please come down to the Afghan Grill. Fantastic restaurant, fantastic service. And it's in the east of London. It's only a, about three to four minutes away from the Bethnal Green Station. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon for the next one.